Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. And this is the card that I made for the Inspire Ink blog hop that I took part in yesterday. And our theme for the blog hop was um, that everything was new. Um, so I've used the Fine Art Floral Suite from the new January to June 2021 mini catalogue. And this suite is very luxurious um, and kind of decadent with all that gold foil and um, glitz and glamour. Um, but I decided that I would kind of pare it down a bit and do a much more simple, clean and simple card. Um, so this is the card that I made and it has an aperture with the, the birthday sentiment printed there. Now, I had a bit of a play about with different colours and there's always two sides to every piece of card. However, note to self, make sure that <laughs> you don't have a different colour on the back piece that is showing through the aperture. Um, so I'm going to make another one uh, to show you what I did with this. And I, I'm i going to change the colours. This one is Flirty Flamingo and I used Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. So they are all part of the Brights um, colour collection. Today I'm switching out the white for very vanilla and my card base is Cajun Craze and I will be using Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry and Old Olive and they are all part of the Regals collection. Now this stamp that I have used from the art gallery stamp set. Oops, I'm throwing things about already. Um, I hadn't actually used this stamp set before I made this, uh, sorry, I hadn't used that particular stamp in the set before I made that card. Um, and I would normally um, ink that up with Stampin' Right markers um, because I would want the petals to be different colour from the, the stem and the leaves. When I did that though I didn't find that I got a very good um, impression so what I eventually did was to mask up the main bit of the stamp that I don't want to have um, my main colour on. So my main colour is going to be crushed curry for this. So I want to use the lighter uh, colour on the bottom. Now, I want to make sure that I've got that well inked up. And then I can take off my masking. So I've just, I've used a post-it note, sticky note for the, to cover up the big bit at the bottom there. And, uh, some washi tape along the side there and try and not get ink all over my fingers. Mm, possibly have not succeeded at that. Um, and then I'll use, I think th my problem was I didn't get a good impression because there's it's quite big bits to that. And when you use the Stampin' Right markers, um, the ink does kind of dry um, quite quickly. So I've got a couple of bits in there that um, I really want to be green so um, I'm going to attempt <laughs> to not ruin what I've already inked and just use the corner of my chamois to take that off those three little bits there and then I can go in with my old olive and just put that on there. I think I'd left a bit of the yellow on there but 
and blend it in with my the green. It's not a problem. So just putting using your stamp and write marker to put the green only where you want it. There we go. Just the magic bit with this is that you kind of huff. In fact, I'm going to just top up that because it seems to have pulled in the middle in the time that I've taken to do the other bits. Okay, so. Quick huff and pop that on there. I'm using this foam mat because it's photopolymer um, and it just gives you a little bit more room. So there you go, we've got much clearer impression there with the crushed curry ink than had I done that big area with just my marker. Bring in the Cajun craze and just kind of pop that on there. There's no real precision to this as you can tell and I'm trying not to let you see my messy hair by getting right over the front top. And I kind of think it looks a bit better if you have a little bit of the other colour on these little bits as well. Just very abstract, but it just kind of pulls it more together for me. Um, okay, so I need to die cut that now. And I also want to die cut my card base. So I'm using the um, Leering Squares dies. And I want to have my smaller one cut out on the card base like that. So I'm just, I'm going to get a clean bit of washi tape, not one of the bits that I've inked up. Just try and make sure that's central. Put that down. So I'm going to die cut that and I am going to die cut my flower. So I will be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so you need to make sure that when you feed this through your die cutting machine, um, that you have your card base open because you don't want to cut right the way through both layers of your card base there, okay? And I didn't do the best job on that, but it's not too bad. So that will sit over there. I've got one piece that will go inside my card base and we'll stamp that, um, but I've also got a piece that I want to layer on the front. Now, the way I found best to make sure I get them totally line up, because I haven't measured it, um, was, let me just take that other one out of the way and we'll deal with that one in a minute. So that is where I want it to be. And that is where that needs to be. So I then want to just judge where that goes like that. Take that out of the way. Washi tape that. 
and then I can die cut that as well. I don't think I've got that very straight, have I? Let me just try doing that again. So I've got that straight on there. Try not to move anything. the trick. Take that out of the way. So I'm going to die cut that and then I'm also going to emboss that with the painted texture embossing folder. So bear with me a moment and I will be back with that. Right so that's that being die cut and embossed now. Moment of truth. Does that line up? Yes, it does. So I will glue that in place and I will also glue that in place. But actually, I think what I'll do first is stamp the sentiment. So I did my last one as a birthday. I think I'll do this one as a thank you. I'm using stamps from the new Happy Thoughts stamp set. Let me just grab a block. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take the backing off. See, I told you it was new. <laughs> There we go. Uh, so I'm going to stamp that with Cajun Craze. Yeah, let's do Cajun Craze. No, actually, I'll do Crushed Curry. We've got enough Cajun Craze with the card base being that colour. it's a new stamp I'm just going to double check that everything's okay and it's relatively straight I'm going to put that as if it was glued down I'm not gluing it down yet in case I make a horrible mistake with my stamping roughly in the middle thank you that's perfect okay so I can now go ahead and just glue this together. So see it's a nice clean simple card but just a little bit different with it having an aperture with the sentiment showing through. on there. Just lining that up. Make sure I've got it reasonably straight. There we are. And finally, I can just add in my flower. Now, obviously, I need to make sure that I am not putting glue on any of these bits there so that the card will still open. So I know I can glue up to there. And that's more than enough glue just to keep it in place on the card front. Okay. So there we have it. A different colour a different sentiment, but using the same stamp sets and dies. 
I'll have a list of all of the products that I've used um, with links to my Stamping Up shop um, in my blog and there's a link to that blog post in the description bar below. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, take care. Bye bye.